Yo, YouTube, it's your boy Live Life 815 coming at y'all with another video. In this video, we're gonna be discussing who could possibly beat in that castle at the end of Loki episode 5. Who is our main antagonist of this series, y'all? But before we get into all that, if y'all haven't, hit that subscribe button for your boy. We like three subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers. We gonna be on our way to 3K pretty soon. That's gonna be the goal we starting to reach for. If y'all haven't, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that like button to help give me an algorithm. Cash app somewhere in the video. Let's talk some Loki, y'all. So for starters, we have the obvious choice for this question. And it is none other than Kang the Conqueror. Now, we have had so many Easter eggs littered throughout this series that Kang is actually the main villain, especially with episode five. If y'all remember on that old Avengers Tower, it had the word Kang spelt on it. Just the fact that Ravana Renslayer is in the series and that's his love in the comics. And not to mention, he has ties with Elias. So, Kane the Conqueror Easter eggs is littered all throughout this series. Now, another choice is Miss Minutes. A lot of y'all was clowning Ravonna Renslayer because she was asking Miss Minutes to bring up everything on the TVA. And it's like, girl, you don't realize whoever is behind the TVA created Miss Minutes? That's like you asking him to reveal himself, but she definitely has something to do with it because she was created by the person who's behind it. But do I expect Loki and Sylvie to walk into that castle in episode six and Miss Minutes to be sitting there with her legs crossed like, hey y'all, how you doing Miss Minutes here? I don't really expect that. Now the last possible option in my opinion for the main villain of this series is another variant of Loki. Hear me out. The whole series has pretty much been about Loki's redemption. The fact that he does not have to be a bad guy. He doesn't have to be evil. As Mobius says it, anyone can change and he still believed in Loki. All throughout this series, we've seen our Loki evolve and he is now, as I would say, on par with the Loki that got his neck snapped in Infinity War. He's fully redeemed himself. Now, the reason why I believe King Loki could be the main villain is because that would be like looking in the mirror. It would be a stark contrast of who our Loki is today. He has to face himself at the end of the day and overcome his demons. And we have not seen this image that's on screen right now yet in the series. And Loki looking kind of evil, y'all. It's looking like King Loki. He on a throne. So I don't know. My guess is that it's either Kang because of all the Easter eggs. I can't ignore them. Or I think they could be throwing Kang Easter eggs in there. But they're going to pull the rug up under us with the reveal of it being another variant of Loki. That being King Loki. But... What do y'all think about this live life fam? Comment below. Let me know who y'all think is in that castle. Who y'all think is going to be revealed in episode six. Are y'all excited for the finale? If y'all haven't, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that like button to help get me all the way in the algorithm. Like only 10% only of y'all that watch my videos subscribe. 90% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So that would help out. I really would appreciate it. Again, hit that like button, cash app somewhere in the video. Live life, fam.